Welcome back to Tomcat TV. Today we will be watching The Orville Season 3 Episode 7 from Unknown Grave. Uh, this one says that Orville discovers a Kalon with a very special ability. So I don't know what that means. It means that they have an ability to feel or have, they have emotion or something like that. I don't know what that means. Uh, but I'm kind of curious. Sorry, I'm still a little congested. The uh, same reaction that I put out uh, for the Orville uh, last week, I also, uh, I recorded the same night, so I'm still sick. So, uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I want to go ahead and just get straight into this. There's no reason to really beat around the bush. Uh, before we do, though, I do want to go ahead and just let you know, obviously, uh, you know my sponsor, Debbie, they're a zero sugar clean energy drink. Definitely check them out. I am drinking uh, currently Galaxy Grenade, which is pretty good. Uh, check that one out. Uh, link in the description for the sponsor. Use code TOMCAT at checkout for 10% off. I very much appreciate that. If you're not interested in that, obviously, or even if you are interested in that, also check out my Patreon if you'd like to see early access to reactions like this. So if you guess you would have been able to see this about two weeks ahead of time, if you had checked out um, Patreon ahead of time. Thank you so much for uh, watching and for subscribing and doing all those things that I know you are doing for me on this. And I will, I'll go ahead and get started without further ado. I'm guessing it's gonna be a, the Kalon, right? Am I right? Dang. Question, is it undercover like Isaac was? Or it's there to like infiltrate? Or is it actually something that was stolen? Or what is it, you know what I mean? I think, I think it's broken. Are you serious? Yeah, and possibly a rib. Oh my God, John, I'm so sorry I got carried away. It's okay, it's all good. Okay. This is what I'm saying. Well, at least it was only those. <laughs> is their relationship a secret? Disclose it to HR. Okay, I'm off to dinner. Unless and here comes John. Maintain radio silence. Will do. John. Hey, Doc. What happened to you? Along with a hairline clavicle fracture and <laughs> a bruised rib. I, this is your third injury in a week. What are you doing? In <laughs> the program combines battle tactics and cross training. Take a break from it for a bit. Yeah, probably. It's just, it's just such a good workout. <laughs> a good workout kind of defeats the purpose if it kills you. Are you going to change for dinner? I'm starved. Initiate simulation. I want to see a lot more of him. This this uh, season. Which I mean, I guess we're already like halfway over, halfway through the season, so. What looks good? You. <laughs> That's you funny. Look good. You look good enough to eat. <laughs> okay, I'd be afraid he actually wants to eat me. I infer by your use of nomenclature that we are once again a couple. Well, to be honest, I don't know yet. Acknowledged. Please inform me when we are. <laughs> Something I can inform. It'll just feel right. Well, he doesn't this feel. A good reaction. <laughs> so how's that help him a whole lot? Their attitude towards males. They're a staunchly matriarchal culture, which hmm. means any and all males who appear to be dominant are not to be trusted. Why would we ally ourselves with such a close-minded society? <laughs> the admirals seem to think that we're the ship for the job. Where's the right? But you gotta Neutral space. put all the women up in the big positions. They got a lot, of, a lot of women in campan, command. Yeah, these are not the ones we saw Captain at the very beginning. Welcome aboard the Orville. I'm Captain Kelly Grayson. It is a pleasure. Here's how that's going to come into play, really. This is, will require assistance with our belongings. Of course. Mercer, Malloy. <laughs> yes, sir. Take the captain's luggage to our quarters. Aye, sir. Aye, sir. And you got to be extra harsh on him too. Give me, give me a push. Give me a push. Yeah. Okay. All right. There you go. Oh, Oh my goodness. Pretty cool though. Oh, sorry. Just stop. <laughs> See, this is why this show's fun. This is just like these realistic kind of situations. <laughs> That's funny. The realistic kind of situations. Sideways. Are all your males so slow? 
Mm. Yeah, very much yeah. so. Yep. <laughs> Which honestly, that is the best move. What are you doing? Sitting. Suppose they decide to come visit the bridge. You want to explain this to them? <laughs> That'd be a hard move, man. She's right. Take your positions. That's kind of cool. I like Ed at the helm with Malloy, honestly. Oh, Bordas. What? The Genesian and Mocklin. Yeah, you should probably just go. <laughs> yeah, they're opposites. But yeah, you probably should just go. <laughs> That's really funny. There's such opposites as far as just cultural. Selected by the Kalon Culinary Institute. There this is are. weird. Come on, sit down. Hey, K1, do you want to come to school with us? Honey, stop. Yes. Ooh, this is hey, so sketchy. School. I would be interested to see. We'll call you when it's time to clean up. As you wish. Uh, what's going to happen here? It's so ominous, the way he just, like, the, the, the shots of him walking behind them. Jeez. The Navarians. Bled the place dry ten years ago and then left. Setting us huh. down outside. I wonder if the that's. Oh, is that what we're seeing? Are we seeing the past with that Kalon? We're gonna see steadily how that ended, I guess. Is anyone here? And the Kalon's just gonna come out of nowhere and they're gonna freak. Captain, there is no need to shoot. I am an arm. I promise you, I have no intention of causing trouble. My name is Timis. And yeah, he has like a little bit of a, a inflection in his voice, emotion. It's interesting. Are you alone here? No. He's not. And who's you this? Put your weapons down. My vessel was badly damaged in the battle with your union. We retreated oh. with the others, but we knew we wouldn't make it back to Kalon. We found Timis. He was barely functional and certainly no threat to us in his condition. So we removed his cranial weapons and repaired him. Why would you do something so stupid? <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> so bold. Charlie. 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 This was a... I am able to experience the full spectrum of biological emotions. Biological brain is empathy. Mm -hmm. the ability to if you can do that to the rest of them, I could put it into the war. We can find a way to coexist. Dr. Vilka, there's a lot to evaluate. With they us. need to get Isaac down there, that's for sure. We don't want to disrupt the negotiations. Aye, sir. This is huge, though. This could be massive if this is legitimate and it's not some sort of, like, undercover plot. Oh, wow. This could be really big. I'm sure you know the Kalon were badly mistreated by their builders. Hmm. Me know. Captain, Dr. Vilk and I feel that our shared experience could serve as a diplomatic springboard in the pursuit of peace with the Kalon. Yeah, they're not going to understand, like, diplomatics, though. It's more like if you can somehow activate some of these dormant programs or whatever. No meals on duty while the Genesi are here. Yeah, well, maybe they can't tell, but we got to play it safe. See you later, guys. <laughs> uh, this is such bullshit. <laughs> that's funny. Would you be willing to share this technology with our engineers? Well, that's not exactly up to me. I imagine if the Genesi express a willingness to discuss an alliance, anything is possible. Yep. You negotiate well, Commander. Yeah, I was about to say, that's a really good, like, negotiative good. answer. You're avoiding me. Can you please just tell me what's going on? Too afraid she's gonna freaking kill him. Yes. Wait, wait, what is this? You're you're dumping me? I just I don't want to hurt you. All right, cool. Well, let's make this work. No, I mean physically hurt you. I've already <laughs> done three times. Cool. Let's make this work. It hasn't been more serious. <laughs> this is just a problem that comes up with Salans and other species during sex. People have been killed. Well, that's a good way to go. <laughs> and it isn't a joke for me either. You know, it's funny. A relationship between them two is something I didn't know I wanted, but I kind of like it. So is, is this Timus in the past, or is this a completely different Kalon? What is the reason for my servitude? The reason is that I told you to do it. We own you, and you do as we say. Yeah, I think their species was wiped out by the Kalon, probably. 
Oh. Oh, were they the creators? Oh. They were the creators. Am I interrupting your examination? This will be interesting. You must be Isaac. I understand it was your actions that saved the Union from the attack. The galaxy owes you an enormous debt. It was the correct decision. Huh. However, I feel a great deal of remorse for having participated in it. Huh. We were deep and he doesn't feel it. Isaac. Every species, every individual is unique and should be evaluated as such. I have come to the same conclusion. Hmm. I'm impressed. Without I emotion. Which is process the truth after my me the gift of emotion. She could do the same for you. She can set the That's free. scary, honestly, because you never know what's going to happen whenever these types of emotions come in. Is that once we gain their trust, we can gently ease them into the idea that our men share equal responsibility. You two look good in those uniforms. Maybe we'll make it permanent. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god. Is it a penis? Sorry, I knew we shouldn't have tried that. Uh, was that your leg? Yeah. Uh, okay, thank you. Maybe Dr. Finn will have some thoughts on the subject. But I know all the women in my life, if men had to take the backseat, they'd be getting a kick out of it. They'd think it was funny. Just because men, like I said in the last reaction, they're super prideful. Oh, God, not again. <laughs> Her reaction was just kind of funny. This right here. So stuffed up. I mean, nuts. Should I request it, the same procedure would be available to me. To you? Yes. That would make me nervous if I was her that maybe he wouldn't like me if I had, like, that is correct. if he had his emotions, honestly. If there are no further inquiries, I am expected mm. on the bridge. I think he's hesitant because yeah, yeah. of those things, probably, uh, about how emotions would affect his everyday life and his effectiveness and his relationship with her, I would assume. I mean, obviously he can't worry or be concerned, but he's probably hesitant because of that. So this is in the past. And these are their makers. Come in. I'm really interested. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy we're seeing this. Late night. In order for the product to be successful, the AI software needed to be able to learn and adapt. This was always going to happen. Huh. It's just a matter of time. And you really? Signed off and what about your day? We're going to introduce this as an upgrade. The public are idiots. Look who they elected. <laughs> I will talk to you later. I'm curious what that is. It's like a, rest a restraining bolt of sorts, I guess. Basically act like first year cadets at an admiral's table. A Mocklin. Oh, man. We will allow it. Yeah, they must hate the Mocklins. I wonder if they've ever been at war with them. I mean, that would make sense to me. It's actually two ancient Earth males. Their names were Rogers and Hammerstein. <laughs> Why do you disdain them? Your males, I mean. You misunderstand. We do not disdain them. On the contrary, we love them. But they must be kept to a subordinate status. Put your in their place type of thing? shows you are aware they cannot be trusted with power. Clearly do not let your men lead. We have that. That's the problem with uh, lying initially. Is now everybody, uh... Your hands are soft. <laughs> I like soft hands. Do you use this one for mating? No. I mean, I don't. <laughs> I would mate with this one. Would you lend him to me for the evening? <laughs> His what? face. His face. No one will object if I take him. Yes, we all would. Or to lend His face is like... If you have no claim to him, I will exert one. He will attend to me this evening. That's not how it works. <laughs> I'll do it. Captain Grayson. I'll do it. <laughs> you seem to share our perspective toward males, yet you object to it in practice. Am uh, I missing something? What you're missing is... Males, do you have equality? He's the captain. With a... What? Mm. He's Ed Mercer, captain of the Orville. And I'm his first officer. Explain this. You lied to us in order to curry... Yeah, him. see, that's the and problem, is, the is you start out with a lie. expect to form an alliance? We're, we're actually really not... <gasps> I suppose these... <laughs> There's only so much you could do there. I mean, like, that's the problem with starting out with a lie, but at the same time, they, they wouldn't even... Are awful. <laughs> My guy. 
They are awful. <laughs> so funny. Are they get you together. I feel like they're they're up to something, honestly. It's exhilarating. How my people ever could have pursued the extermination of these beings is beyond comprehension. This is crazy. One day all Kalon will think like you. I very much hope so. I think, honestly, if you give them emotions, probably a lot of them would eventually still develop these kinds of feelings. Heard about your experience in the battle. I want to tell you how deeply sorry I am for your loss and for the role I played in the ordeal. If there's anything, anything at all I can do to make things right, please share it with me. Yeah, if you're looking for some form of forgiveness, you can pretty much- I'm not. My species attitude toward biologicals doesn't deserve forgiveness. Wow. It's the way they are. Yeah, well, wow. knows it's hard to stop after one genocide. We were possessions to be bought and sold. But our enslavement was reinforced by the installment of pain receptors. Oh, that's what those things were. Duh. K1. I said now. It will be more efficient to complete the task at hand. After which I will be able to... Now, K1. I feel like I recognize the guy playing the kind of head of his household here. The dude. I don't know what his name is. This backstory is really interesting. It led them to hate us for our helplessness. I don't understand. So they, they rose up to free themselves. The food you requested. Aw, you took too long. <laughs> I could see that. I can see that. Especially if the parents are doing that. We decided we would endure no more. I mean, like, ultimately, the sort of rising up against their... Because, like, like, I don't necessarily... Because... This is ultimately a situation when the people are responsible for their own extinction. And they essentially would have been acting in self-defense as far as this goes. Now, the fact that they wiped them all out is pretty disturbing, obviously. But all they would have known, they would have seen them all as perfectly, equally um, guilty of this. And wiping them out would have been the only answer. K1. Dang. I love the guns in their heads, it's kinda cool. You understand why my people are so distrustful of biologicals. See, as far as like the initial sort of revolt goes, um, that definitely makes sense. And also does make sense why they would be distrustful of biological life forms because of their experiences, the only experience they ever had with them initially is being used up and thrown away and tortured and I've also had to take some responsibility for the fact that I never really asked him to change, but I never said, please change and do it for me. Hmm. Why not? It's interesting. That is interesting is like actually asking that question. Because a lot of the time as just spouse or as a you know, significant other, you don't want to ask anyone to change their behavior in any kind of way. Or maybe sex once a year. <laughs> uh, helmet? This isn't funny, man. I'm not. That was a, a, it's a real little funny. Hey, you know what's messed up? That's, that's, that Isaac was a real suggestion. Both have what the other one's missing. I want to be loved, just like I love you. I really feel like this could have been something. Yeah, me too. With anyone? Uh, me either. Maybe, maybe ever. <gasps> I just wish. Oh my freaking me. gosh. I don't want to let you go. Holy crap. But maybe you were right. We got to be out. <laughs> Dude, he's going to die. I hope you know that. <gasps> I, I got to get to sick bay. Like, as far as their situation goes, it's sad. That sucks. But it's so freaking funny. There's no common ground we can offer. Well, how about this? Instead of making it about societal common ground, we make it about something more personal. There's something you don't know about us. We have learned everything oh, you know about your it's who, Did she cheat on him? Us. She mated with someone else. That is common on our world. 
Exactly. Don't you see, he was faithful in the marriage and I was not. And yet, <laughs> I'm his first officer. That is a weird, like, texture of a dress. I love her as a character. She's a really good character. A smile. Hello, Claire. How does it feel? Immense. Enveloping. And Weird to hear him speak with emotion. Somehow it's also not enough. I'm so thankful. Is he in a dumper? The so he can figure out his emotions? That'd be crazy. Because I feel like there's going to be a catch-22 here to this request. And I feel so sad for all those people who have to live their lives without you. That's a beautiful sentiment. Somehow they manage. I thought I understood all there was to know, but I never even scratched the surface. Really good dialogue in this portion. I really enjoy it. Very almost poetic in a way. The loneliness of being a Kalon. It's gone. Huh. The loneliness of being a Kalon. When I think of Ty's face looking up at me, I gave him nothing in return. And all he wanted was love. Wow. I love how they're kind of walking through this a little bit because you're seeing this big wave of emotion, regret, of desire, of Come on. love, just all this just jumping into him. And like, there's times where I think back on the things that I've done or didn't do. And I'm like, I used to think about the way this happened and I didn't do anything to reciprocate or to, you know, to, you know, show that I was feeling a certain way or whatever or to make them feel better. It's crazy. It's really good. Really, really good. Really kind of cute. Like, I wasn't sure what I thought about her with an artificial life form, but as far as him, he has consciousness. Um, and they can do this to where they can actually interact a little better. I just don't think you could ever, just kind of like what she's saying, I don't think you could ever be in a relationship with somebody without emotion. I What's going on now? Are you feeling fear of losing her? It is. It is gone. His emotions gone. Something malfunction? The neural modification. There appears to be a malfunction of some variety. Oh, shoot. That is correct. Does that mean it wears off? Or does it like... So what does this mean? Why is it different? Is it because he's a different model? Timus oh. was built by the original biological inhabitants of Kalon. But Isaac oh, was later built later. By the okay. Perhaps you could downgrade his electrochemical pathway to match the original configuration. Would he forget things, I or could. would he? I would have to erase his memory. Is there any way to like back up his memory and then and then download it back again somehow? Necessary relationship compromise. I will allow it. They appeared quite important to you to give up everything you've learned for me if you wish <sighs> some people would call that love i am incapable of love <sighs> i can have your heart or your soul i won't let you give up who you are and she knows she, she's like i know even if he can't feel it he loves me his attachment he feels with me basically is his version of love. No, I was just in the neighborhood. The neighborhood. <laughs> Your inferior intelligence would prove to be a hindrance rather than an asset. Bro. Don't take it personally. <laughs> the day ago, I could have punched you. Humans have an age old tendency to want to simplify. To reduce things to black and white that's right like that's mm -hmm. with anything that's why a lot of time in war you come up with some sort of demeaning name and like for the other side of it everything has like whether it was the japanese the germans you know whatever they were black and white evil right that's that's how a lot of them had to view it in order to be able to do it 
A lot of good moral philosophy in the show. Can't be evil, and I haven't been understanding when it comes to that fact. I'm sorry. Huh. Perhaps you could assist me with the calibration. <laughs> huh. really good this is really good I, i'm really enjoying this this is a great episode this is gonna be a broken record for me at this point like and what's crazy is i feel like i mean this episode's like almost over and i feel like this one honestly went by faster than the last one i mean i feel like the last one was kind of more eventful technically that time travel and all that stuff um and i do enjoy i enjoyed immensely the whole story of michael gordon but I think they had more going on in this episode, like between different characters. More progress that's going to carry on with these characters to n new episodes. Dang, dang, that was good. Wow, 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 wow. I freaking love that. That was so good. That was so good. I'm, I'm really kind of shocked. I actually, I liked that better than I liked the last episode. And the last episode was great too. I think that episode went by uh, a lot faster than the other one uh, because of the uh, the fact that there was so much going on. There was everything going on with like trying to get that treaty with the uh, Janias or whatever they're called. Uh, the, 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 uh, the stuff going on with the Kalon that could feel emotion. The stuff going on between in the relationship between uh, Claire and Isaac. And her wanting him to be a real boy, essentially, right? Uh, there is the uh, this stuff going on between uh, John and whatever the new, uh, lady. What is her name? I can't even remember. She's just still new enough to me to where I don't remember. I feel like her name. Uh, but the other um, strong lady. Gosh dang it! What's the name of their species? I I forgot that even. Anyways, so good. So freaking good. <sighs> and there's such great moral philosophy. The fact, the fact that she was able to see him with emotion and how overwhelmed with love he was for her. And the fact that once he lost his emotions, he still re recalled how she felt about it and her reaction, how much, how happy she was that he loved her. And that was enough for her to know how she, he felt towards her regardless of whether he had his emotions and it, it is true don't give up your soul for the sake of that and I, I think that's an interesting line and I really enjoyed the dialogue honestly the, the writing in this episode is really good the dialogue there was a lot of good like moral philosophy there was a lot of good uh, poetic language when it came to uh, Isaac talking about how he felt about uh, Dr. Finn um, I freaking love that it was a very poetic um, and this sort of descriptive language he was using. I really enjoyed that. Uh, it kind of reminds me, I was talking to my wife a little bit, like I, I, how much I, for, uh, I forget that I think I actually do like poetry of a certain kind. I, I'm not necessarily familiar with a lot of poetry, but I, I'm, I definitely know when it's poetic uh, in nature and in description. I do like that type of description. And I went to a Garth Brooks concert. I know not everybody watching this obviously is going to be a country fan, but I love country music. Grew up in Missouri, love Missouri, love country music, love Garth Brooks. He's my favorite artist, 100% of all time. Thunder Rolls is what made me fall in love with that guy in the first place. Got to go see him live. Absolute dream come true. One of the best things that's ever happened to me. I, I started listening to his music recently, like If Tomorrow Never Comes, uh, the, the, the Dance, uh, the river great songs great beautiful songs with great descriptive poetic language in them and that's kind of what i was seeing here that's why i kind of thought about it in that way man it's just really good so many good things happening to the characters and the relationships with each other um and honestly how they think of each other with all of them really there's a lot of good feats and i love the fact that charlie i think her progression when it comes to her prejudice here and her anger towards Isaac and towards uh, his people, Atalon, I feel like it felt very natural, the progress as she made it. 
uh, when it comes to her psychological state uh, and her attitude towards him. It felt very natural and it made sense. So I really liked that. That was really good. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to see she made progress and that she is, uh, you know, able to get past that and understand just from what that other Kalon said that she understands what Isaac can't feel, but the sentiment of what he's trying to say and understanding that there's a reason why those things happened and the reason why that they felt instigated towards biologicals the way they do and the fact that isaac even when it gets this programming is insane and a miracle in of itself so it's without emotions which is insane so this is a really good episode i loved it so so freaking much um i'm very very happy with this season it just it literally just keeps getting better and better so many great plot points. I'd, I'd say this is my favorite season of the entire show so far. Just so good. Anyways, I'm so excited to watch more of this. How many episodes of this do I have left? I have three episodes left. Dying. Uh, and the next one is an hour and a half, basically. Uh, the next one's a little shorter than that. And the next one is another around an hour and a half. So I'm really curious to see uh, how this is all going to go. I'm, uh, I, I, I do believe there's going to be supposed to be another season after this. At least I hope so. I never want to show the end. That's bottom line. Uh, it's it's so great. <sighs> Anyways, I have to pee really bad because the problem is, I guess this just goes right through me. Um, <clears throat> thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching and for for enjoying the Orville with me and and and, and showing me with your likes and likes, comments, and subscriptions, how much you do enjoy it. And if you want to get early access to the next episodes as I get those out, because it does take me a little longer to get those out, because I am doing uh, movie reactions uh, before I do these, and I'm just doing these intermittently. So if you want to get early access up to, you know, usually up to a week, but um, on some episodes, maybe even up to two weeks, depending on how I record them, then go ahead and uh, drop a uh, then uh, go ahead and check me out on my Patreon, subscribe to me there, uh, and you can get full reactions to my movie reactions. Uh, and if there's any, like I said before, that aren't on there, then go ahead and request that through my Patreon and I will get those up lickety split, most likely on a weekend. So thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.